All right, welcome everyone. We're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we're here for Castlevania, Castlevania Season 4, four episode, episode 5. five. Well, you know who the real antagonist of this arc is now? Mm -hmm. Okay. Saint Germain. Yep, yes, and we yes. know exactly what kind of person he is now. It, it's really not his fault. It's, you know... Hmm. <sighs> he just has to see about a girl. Yeah. 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 Uh, just yeah. casually getting manipulated for... And also manipulating yeah. and... Mm -hmm. And now trying to get people into Dracula's castle. Mm -hmm. I, I like the move. I appreciate it. It was well thought out. I think you know, mm -hmm. but okay. Yeah. Where uh -huh. do you where do you think this ends, buddy? Where do you think this ends? I don't think he's making it through this season. I don't think so either. And I think it will be very satisfying when he gets defeated. Yeah. But uh, yeah. yeah, I'm just really hoping that our our main two can can get wrapped up into this as well so that that way we get a reunion with them and Alucard because it's been too long since we had the gang together. Mm -hmm. Yes, we need that cathartic like, mm -hmm. hey, fuck you. Yeah, it's exactly. Good to see you too. Right, right. Yeah. Yeah. Like he, he was already... Okay, my dumbass boys, get in here yeah. and uh, get, <laughs> yeah. let's get a hug no, before right, we right, start right. Uh, cursing yeah. each other out, yeah. okay? Yeah. <laughs> yep. No, 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 no. Shush, shush, shush. This is hugging time. Exactly. Yes. yes. Yep. And I, I would like that to be cathartic as fuck. Mm-hmm. But y'all, without further ado, let's get into this. Oh, the bass. Gotta love that bass, yo. Surely it would have been safer to do this during daylight. We would have expected to do this during daylight. Their night creatures are clearly being instructed. The attacks are too targeted. So we're moving before they can be given fresh orders. And our chances of making it to your castle before we're spotted and those fresh orders are given? Oh, somewhere between slim and none, I would imagine. When I want to hear from you, I'll throw a coin in your begging bowl. I've lived out here my whole life. We live next to the spirits of wood and stream. The things that come with the storm and the smell of magic. You smell of it. He reeks of it. On you, it's sweet like spices. On him, it's rotten. Whoa. Yes, it's, it's rendered me quite deaf. <gasps> I am a man of books. Your earthy peasant ways are quite beyond me. My skills lie in other directions. Pissy. I was hoping you were good with a knife. I'm going to circle around and make sure I don't have stragglers. I used to know someone who liked that about me. I hope to see her again soon. I hope you do. That sounds comforting. Oh, yes. Thank you. Mm. Mm. Please don't let it be a spider. Oh, I see webs. I know. I've been... It's above them. It's fucking above them. Please don't, 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 hey, don't. No. Wouldn't it be nice to see spiders get cut apart by a telekinetic God sword? God damn it. Oh, okay. Okay. Fucking yeah. hell! Why? Why do they gotta do this to me, man? Why do they oh, gotta do no. this to me? No. Shit! No, no, no! And it's Castlevania, so you know it's gonna be animated uh -huh. well. Yeah, Fuck. yeah. No, no. No, God, shit, and the no! dismembered body parts stuck in the webs. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, oh. it doesn't. That doesn't look very spider like. Oh, that's fine. Ah, yeah, 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 it is, it is, it is. Really? Yeah? Yeah, it is. Okay, what, yeah. What do you think yeah. that is? Blows off pustules of its own body. Oh, yep, oh. acid jizz. Yeah. Oh, it's so cool, but... Dang, it's good. Just pull the thing out. You can't just pull arrows out. The barbs on the back of the arrowhead tear the flesh open if you yank the thing free. You do know he's already dead. Would you want to wake up with an arrowhead filling your eye socket? Yeah. Oh. oh, this is that's beautiful. You're back in the world. Hmm. Take a breath. This is your place now. These two will mark you out and take you where you need to be. All right. Cool. Oh, okay, 
okay. So that's how we'll be able to distinguish uh, Hector's night creatures from Isaac's when they fight. Nothing's wrong. What makes you say something's wrong? I've got eyes and ears. I know when something's wrong. When Carmilla's left on her own for too long, she starts to scheme. And that works out really well for us. Styria might be the oldest stable vampire community in the world. Certainly the only one run by women. I'm overjoyed. Oh, shush. But also because we didn't overreach. Vampires right. are thirsty, Lenore. It's what defines you. There's always more blood to be drunk somewhere across the next field. But we didn't do that. Not really. But now, I... I don't know. And it's... It's leaving me feeling a bit lost. There's no diplomacy involved in making humans stand mm -hmm. in line to be bled. Mm -hmm. All the humans. Think about it. Think about not it. Not just in Europe. Oh? She showed me her maps. She's been scheming. <laughs> and she showed me maps of the world, Hector. The world? The pen was about securing our survival and safety for centuries to come. It was an insane idea, but we could stretch and make it work. She said she had one plan. To annex land from here to the sea. She promised me that was her plan. And then she was left alone. And then I made her angry and she showed me her maps. I know you're all tired and scared, but they're just bloody animals. Kill the bastards. Okay. My family right. came here generations ago. Okay. They escaped from the Romans, so the story goes. We've been in Dynasty since it was just a wide spot in the road. People from all over wash up here and stay. We don't trace back to anywhere. We're all from here. What? I was about to say like, oh yeah, dog. I wonder if it's gonna die. <laughs> right. Different I conversations. Had a yeah. and a girlfriend at the same time once, but they never tried to kill me. Actually, no. I tell a lie. His wife went for me with a pitchfork. <laughs> I knew you'd be strange, but I didn't think it would be something like this that brought you back to life. I should probably grow all the way up and accept it now. There are worse things. You could be outside someone else's castle with a stake up your bum. It seems like a long time ago. Trip yeah, bloody fool. If this little show you're putting on gets us all killed, this was for nothing. Oh, oh my that's God. a cool design. Yeah, let me fight this one. I'm not backing off. Just give me some space. Back it. <laughs> Move really fucking fast. Yeah. <laughs> Teleports behind you. Nothing personal, kid. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not just fighting a vampire. You're fighting the son of Dracula. That was so good. Draw its attention with the blade. Yeah, and then just got style. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Dracula's castle. Astonishing. It's really quite ugly as sin. It's not ugly. <gasps> it's ugly. And it's sad. And it's cold. That's my childhood home, you're cold. <laughs> well, that explains a lot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Some places just Love it. chill on them. Three things. <laughs> okay. The list. One, you are still a terrible human being. Never claim to be anything else. Two, you are right. 
I may faint dead away. <laughs> <laughs> We've been running from event to event, reacting instead of planting our feet and just acting. But I've also been caught up in the adventure. And it's making me forget things. They're in shock. Oh, I know. But it's still a mess. Look! I come from a people who have weaved a community across the world. And I know you know what that community does. Mm -hmm. It fixes things. You! Yes, you people! No, don't look at me like that. Listen, you cannot put latrines that close to where you sleep and cook. You'll all get sick! This isn't hard! Where are you storing your food? The court needs this. You will, by God, give tribute to your rulers. Oh, hell no! <laughs> <laughs> you want these people to give up what little food they can find to your invisible king and queen? I realize that we are on the same side, but you need to understand that I can kill you by looking at you. <laughs> I also realize that these people need to organize. <laughs> they, they can't help you until they help themselves. Are these cards yours? No, those are his? We need to pull them around. Have these buildings behind us been cleared? They're abandoned. You are cleverer than that. Oh, you're about to... An underground court. You almost stepped in there. Oh, the There's got to be a series of catacombs under the city. Like Grazian. Because if there was just one underground location, it would have been found by the vampires already. Extensive enough that the bloody vampires are nesting down there too. Hmm. <clears throat> And these things must be everywhere. <laughs> no way! <laughs> what? He went for her. Whoa, 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 whoa. What the fuck is that? Um. All right, assemble. Yep. When I began this journey, I had a very simple plan. The plan is now conquest. Okay. Styria it is. All right, here we go. Kill everything you see, except Hector the Forge Master. He is for me alone. <laughs> All right. Awesome! <laughs> All right. Okay. Very cool episode. That was a wonderful episode. Yeah. Really good action, and more importantly, very good banter. I, uh, yes. The the dynamic between Alucard and Greta is one that I very much appreciate. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm Lenore and Hector. Lenore was also and Hector. Very good banter was, as that well. That was excellent. Yep. And then, of course, you know, as always. Sypha and Trevor yes. are wonderful and fantastic. Mm -hmm. So, okay, uh, I I don't I don't have like a particular favorite that I now want to like focus on. I want to like just see lots with everybody. With everybody. <laughs> and and yeah. yet I'm like, oh wait, no, that's you you can't just have have three concurrent plot lines in every yeah. single episode. And now there's like three layers of doom hanging above the vampire sisters, or right. specifically uh, Lenore and Carmilla. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because, you know, Striga and Murano will be fine. <laughs> yeah, they're safe out there, yeah. just being happy. You just get back, and it's all gone to shit, and they're like, well, we were planning on giving up this kind of life anyways, you know, and just living a bit more humbly, so cool. <laughs> Let's uh, protect our home. All right. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I man. Love it. I'm very uh, excited okay. to see if Hector is able to use the Chaos. demolition things that he's no doubt been planning in the castle is like a so hmm, hey I could kill three birds with one stone now. Well sure, but also the like if Isaac's there and he's just planning to kill everybody, it's like, hey, so um Lenore, don't be mad. <laughs> but, <laughs> but we might need to abandon this castle. <laughs> well we might need to abandon this castle and I've been planning something to betray you guys, but I but, think that could save our lives right now. <laughs> you know <laughs> Gotta uh, move faster, gotta move faster, gotta yeah, move faster. Yeah, right. <laughs> Because they do have actual vampire guards and mm -hmm. a small contingent there. Yep. While it is important to note, the majority of their army is probably with Striga and Marana. Uh -huh. So, so Isaac, that. Isaac's, Isaac's, Isaac's got this in the bag. <laughs> Isaac's come, gonna come in and pull an awesome. Yeah, as he usually does. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Carmilla, I think, is the one that should die oh, here. Yes. I think she definitely will. But. 
But if they want mm. to make it more of a kind of a twisted, like, ooh, that, ouch. Yeah. Uh -huh. You could kill Lenore here as well. You could. You definitely could. Mm -hmm. I, no, okay. The cast is pretty big. The cast is pretty big. That's that's true. Mm -hmm. But, but, I like to believe, and, uh -huh. and this might just be my shipper heart, right? Mm. You know, enemies, lovers, all that stuff. <laughs> Lenore just picks up Hector in her arms and just, boom, just jumps. <laughs> and they just go. It's like, yeah, cool, you have night creatures, Isaac, but they're not as fast as a vampire, and you're a human, so, you know, bye. <laughs> I mean, that's, like, that's on the table, I, I think. There, There is a lot of where she's gotten to appreciate him more and more mm -hmm. from, like, pet to friend, really. Right. And yet, there's a very real prisoner, prison-y dynamic. Exactly. It's, it's the whole thing of, like, the... She isn't comfortable in the dynamic unless she is in absolute control, basically. Mm -hmm. So, but now that she is, she's actually like being genuine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. But yeah. it's still. It's still a fucked up dynamic. It's still a fucked up dynamic. But that's what makes it spicy, yeah. right? Like, <laughs> <laughs> that, that's. <laughs> no, I, I, I. You I, know, when, when, when all I they have, have is each cake. other and then it's just the two of them by themselves and you can't really rely on something like that because you can't like. Right, Jacob. You know? And then rocks fall on them and they both die. Oh, <laughs> uh, yes, because they never cared about anyone anyways. So, <laughs> God. <laughs> that could actually happen. I here. know, right? Right? It's literally. Burn them all. <laughs> it's literally the same thing, kind of. Like. Uh, mm. Well, uh, think mm. about it. There's a mm. there's a really no yeah unhealthy power dynamics and all that. Okay, no, no, no. Here's why it's different. Mm -hmm. Cersei never got to the point where she actually felt like she was in control and there and thereby she was able to be. No, I know, but she believed she was a lot of the time. That's the Maybe. point. That's the point where it's diff and where it's kind of similar is that he's actively setting similar, up a way yeah. to defy her. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. Right. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Mm. Anyway, I just saw that connection there for a second. I thought I'd bring it up, but it's not relevant mm -hmm. really here. So totally. the uh, idea, though, that Lenore is worried about uh, Carmilla uh, maybe not seeing her point anymore of why Lenore is there. Like Carmilla lied to Lenore mm -hmm. because, well, she maybe doesn't see Lenore's value. Right. At this point, because that's ultimately what she wanted all along with Hector was yep. a means by which she could burn the whole world down. Right. And what do you know? That sounds a lot like Dracula. another vampire. Another right? crazy old person. Right. But think about it. Yeah. She originally was pissed off at Dracula's aimlessness of his plan mm -hmm. and now we've come full circle to where she's well, poetically maybe even thinking the same way and the 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 tough bit here is that because we haven't really focused on carmilla from the standpoint of her growing as a person right there's a part of this that more feels like um just sort of changing her character a little bit by uh, little bit to a point where it doesn't actually line up mm, with how she was introduced okay i I, I get that. It's still poetic. I get that. For I, sure. I totally get that. But I think that there's been this bit of madness in mm -hmm. Carmilla for a long time now. And that's the hypocrisy of and it. That's, that's the why she can see it, it in other people because yeah. like mm -hmm. it's it's what she focuses on so much that that's what she sort of turns into kind mm -hmm. of a thing. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. And that's kind of why her monologue um, a couple episodes ago was so like important mm -hmm. that they have is that right. it's the... She's no, no, no. She's now... Alone, right? By Carmilla's own doctrine, mm -hmm. uh, Marana should, or uh, Lenore should get rid of her. Yes, like, like because, absolutely get rid of her. Yeah, yeah. like, yeah. like that's. Sorry, Carmilla, you became what you hated. You yeah. know, you and gotta in, go. And, and in some ways, Lenore is probably just feeling that division, that fracture. It's almost like there's been something wedged into the cracks of the castle that's mm -hmm. going to eventually tear it all apart. Yeah, so, yeah, it's yeah. just you know. Just something that keeps being pounded away on. Yeah, yeah, uh-huh. I'm, I'm very curious to see how that conflict will go, with mm -hmm. both with the Lenore and Carmilla, but then also the Isaac invading, because it's so one-sided as far as the, like, yes. battle is concerned, that then... Mm -hmm. It's not it's not at all about what the battle outcome will be. Mm -hmm. It's about what all the character outcomes are going to be. Yeah. And that's fascinating to me. Oh yeah, I love so, that. So I'm I'm very much invested because like 
I'm, I'm invested in Lenore's journey. I'm invested in Hector's journey. I'm invested in Isaac's journey. That's mm-hmm. three characters that are all going to have very big things happen in this event. Right. right? It's amazing what one talk with a chimera ant will do. And suddenly Isaac is like, okay, now let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like, uh, okay, I guess we're doing this now. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yep. that talk was pretty it was effective. a pretty pretty good talk yeah yeah so let's go all right I, there is this part of me that's just like nah man isaac i i don't actually mean this isaac just enjoys being awesome and being cool and so isaac is self-aware that there's a lot of people watching and he's exactly like, ah, yes. he's like all right i'll put on a great show you know that when i slow walk with the billowing cape behind me you're like fuck yes you know <laughs> so so i'll keep doing that you know does it really matter what i'm doing necessarily no nah, not really no. like you know like <laughs> isaac has reached peak rule of cool exactly and he just is like ah yes i cannot <laughs> stop peeking you know <laughs> now i know that he does have an actual very good motivation for wanting to go here mm. hector turned on them dracula's dead yeah he is of course very pissed about that and he wants right. his revenge but, but it's the silly thing of where it's the wait but why didn't i do that a long time ago yeah. well, well i had um, some i had some stuff i needed to work through so right. now that we've done that Yep. Immediately, let's go. <laughs> right, <Yeah. laughs> exactly. Like we we gotta we gotta give time to the characters that are there to think about you know and, yep. and grow and develop and all that stuff so that that way we care when it all gets when it all just gets torn down completely <laughs> destroyed. Yeah. Um, fucking Sypha though. Sypha stole the episode for me personally and, and very quickly. Very like, quickly. Like, I mean, just, it was at the end, but but right. You know. But like yeah. So it's so it's easier for that to be like the last thing that's remembered. But Greta like, and Alucard were great. Was was but mm. in, but in some ways it was more like oh this is. Kind of nice. Yeah. I like seeing Alucard talk with somebody that's not those fucking two. Well, and and, <laughs> and also, I gotta say, I think this is one of the reasons why I think I like the Greta Alucard and Lenore Hector stuff so much, mm-hmm. is that the banter in, in Castlevania has always been very, very good. It's right? very entertaining, yeah. And the main three, especially, it's like, yes, their their mm-hmm. dynamics are, ele- are electric, right? It's, yeah. it's fantastic. To have that happen once, that could just be lightning in sure. a bottle, right? right? They have a thing that that they end up it, it the stars align, it works great, awesome, mm-hmm. right? Doesn't take away anything away from it. Mm-hmm. Being able to duplicate it with new characters that are then created and brought into the story yep. that then end up having a dynamic a, a, a fantastic dynamic with established characters, that is another thing entirely. That's a and very that's, good thing, yeah. That's the kind of thing that gets me really excited, even though this is the last season, so it's not like we could <sighs> see this continue on for five more seasons after right. this, which I would love to have happen, you know. Well so, we are getting a spin-off series. You know, it's just oh, probably shit, that's right. probably not going to be focused on any of these characters. But, but even we do if have some immortals, so there's there's but that. given that the the writers have established that they can make this banter happen, even if it's not necessarily mm-hmm. with the same characters, even if it's different characters, mm-hmm. that's fine, you know, because it's not just yep. them that's propping up the story. Yeah, it's something where I, I have to give props to them because they do a couple things that I would call are, um, they're not cheap, but they're efficient. They're basically mm, certain yeah. things where um, they're like, uh, fuck melodrama. In any mm-hmm. s- remote sense of it, everyone wants to work together here. Yep. There is an element of something in this story where because of either the desire for a certain type of pacing that the creative sure. team behind it is wanting. The animation is expensive, so we can't dilly-dally, you know, or who knows? No, I, okay. I, not, not at all. I was talking about more of the story. But but anyways, the, the, the banter basically shows that everyone wants to basically... Uh, make the story continue basically so it, it's it's a thing where the the uh the, the 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 banter basically doesn't devolve ever into actual melodrama right even right? though the characters will not get along right plenty you know yeah it they're none still of, they're still it, working together for the main goal of whatever plot arc that they're on right yeah it, it, it none of it cycles back to grind the gears on the same specific thing Mm -hmm. i cannot tell you how annoying it is in dramas yes that um don't do this well where the dialogue is there to basically fill up a scene rather than actually progress the scene Mm -hmm. so uh, it's it's so it's why i love this this show's uh banter and dialogue so much yes but cypher Brought up basically the no, I'm gonna stir up some drama here. Mm-hmm. Yep. I am tired Make of being happen. reactive. I want to do something here. The problem is, is that you, <laughs> Treffy, <laughs> you're not a great human being. Yes, so you're I not am. making me want to do any of this. Right. And he's like, yeah, I, the, 
Sorry, huh? Yeah, you know? I'm like, sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that's what you got here. Yeah, yeah. So she's like, and I am the kind of person that did do this back. Right. Then. But I stopped doing that because and I I'm don't with like you. it. Yeah. And I don't like that, but I still like you. But right. Ah! So right. so she starts looking at problems and being like, okay, how can we start fixing them? Why are you putting the latrine there? <laughs> like that's a terrible idea. That is a shitty idea. Yeah, yes. yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. But the idea that Xanthia, the one who is kind of our focus character in this right uh, from outside the, the main world. cast yeah, yeah right uh-huh she is doing some things that yeah seem a bit like well, she's why? sussy and then mm-hmm. we stir up if anything the melodrama of these two might end up seeing against each other and Saifa immediately goes i need to remind you i can kill you just by looking at you so yeah i want to work with you but, but understand if i say do something and i don't think you're I like, can end you, this whole debate right here. <laughs> like, let's yeah. move the plot along. Exactly. Don't give me any shit or as to, yep. uh, you don't understand what we've been through. Well, and she then is literally in the dialogue. And, yeah. and not only that, then yeah. a narrative convenience is used to make sure that things keep yep. moving along. Because then Trevor stumbles upon <laughs> a night creature that then jumps out and does something to her specifically, mm-hmm. which, so if there would have been some potential like long lasting ramifications of Sypha like being that confrontational with her, you know, the Xanthia, that theoretically could all be thrown out because now there's a magical doohickey that's latched onto her neck or whatever, you know, her clothes or something. Yeah, it was weird. It wasn't specifically actually latched onto her neck. That was the part that weirded me out. Right, it was just in the the loop. Yeah, it was in the fold of the cloth, yeah. Yeah. Like, which makes me think like, what, is that some sort of like magical tracking device that she's not going to know is there? You know, like, because the reason why it went after her specifically felt very targeted, and I would think that that would be because they're trying to get at the leaders if the leaders exist, you know, Mm -hmm. because they're hiding or whatever. Okay, cool, right? But... But what? We've never seen a night creature do this. Nope. Nope. I mean, we've seen lots of intelligent night creatures, for sure. Definitely. And but, night creatures that are, like, acting under orders to do specific things. Right. But but this, where it's the, I don't mm. want to kill you, I want to put a, a doohickey on you. Right. Like, normally when I would see something like that, I would think that it's going to be some kind of, like, mind control thing or something. But. Uh, right. But again, it, uh, that would pierce the skin, I would think. Yeah, exactly. It would actually, like, be like, ah, oh, put that into your spinal column. Right, some Doc Ock, you know, or Dio Fleshbud or, you know, whatever. Right, right, yeah. right. Dio Fleshbud was actually what I yeah. thought it was going to be. Right, yeah. But no. But it's... no, it's not that. So, okay. And then we still have that whole thing with the dagger that Treffy has, and you know, what's that going to be used well, for? Well, I think that's that's a, um, that's yeah. a Forge Master's. Yeah, Forge Master implement, stuff. for sure. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. it's got the gem as well mm-hmm. that might fit perfectly into that. Yep. So, yeah. hmm, maybe... But fun episode. Yeah, Very fun episode. Maybe they're starting to build up a little bit of a reveal as to who the leaders are. And that maybe the sure. leaders are Forge Masters. Oh. Thought about that? I feel like there would be ways in which that would make the situation break down, but I'm not entirely sure what they would be. Hmm. I get the vibe that that's what we're going for. Like, if you keep the the people of the city under attack by creatures that you have created and are controlling, then one, that's a way to defend yourself from other people that would try and attack you, but two, you can get them to give tribute so that that way you don't actually have to leave. You can just mm-hmm. get them to give you their food or whatever, mm-hmm. and then you can live sure. underground forever. Sure, that, that, that wasn't what I was thinking about. I, I like that idea, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I, I think that very much works. I also thought that um, the soldiers that we uh-huh. saw in like the blue and everything in like previous episodes, they always seem to be a little bit just kind of like hmm well like off a little bit the thing that seemed a bit odd to me mm-hmm. and maybe this is like not something to read into too much but they seemed too well put together yeah like too well put together for a place where it's post disaster right. right like their armor seemed clean and you know and like you know little details where it's like okay could that, that that could just be how it's drawn for simplicity <laughs> sure, sake or sure. whatever right <laughs> totally but, but that is in stark contrast with the stuff that we see with all the rest of the people there. Mm-hmm. And so... But I think, mm-hmm. yeah, I think Trevor's thing of, okay, it must be an underground network. And that was where we found the dagger little thing there. It was an underground little tunnel place. And with a lot of the dead soldiers and stuff there. But there weren't any, like, others there. Right. I think that might have just been, like, a regular, Vampires like... went through there. Well, like, a, a regular, like, basement or cellar type thing. No, no, totally. Like, you know... Totally. Yeah. But 
Yeah. I I think I think if they're setting up any kind of reveal, that's what it's going to be. That's the only one that mm. kind of feels like it's worthy of a reveal. And otherwise it's kind of like a no, it's just a few people that are like uh, we are important and we need food. They're mm-hmm. just trying to survive. Sure. You know? You know. But then also, what's the deal with Varney or Farney or whatever his name is? Well, because he's working with he's working with Saint Germain. He's working with Saint Germain, but he he's still is, yeah. he's still in this location, right? Mm-hmm. And he had things that he was trying to do, and yet we haven't seen him yet. So it's like, is it just the show being aware of like, yeah, he's not really important? Or no, I think no. I think what it is is that any thing that night creatures or vampires are doing that is sus and a little bit odd connects back to Varney, which connects back to. Trying to Saint Germain, which means they're trying, trying to, to revive, revive Dracula. Dracula. So yeah, all yeah. that weird stuff could just correlate back to that in some way. Sure. And then there's going to be the point where the ritual starts, and it's the oh, all the pieces now come together into one scene, and right. you're like, the oh, different... oh, this is all those mm-hmm. things. Gotcha. One giant transmutation circle across the continent, kind of a thing. Or... No, no, just just a classic D and D dungeon crawl. At the end, you have a wizard mm-hmm. trying to bring back an ancient one. And sure. It's it's not something so big and and. Mm-hmm. crazy as that it's just a no 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 no. we we found a way that could actually bring back dracula right or or we and found a macguffin that we can then send to the people that'll be doing the ritual or you know something some because because it feels like what they're working on here is a piece of the puzzle not the mm-hmm. whole puzzle right yeah, yeah yeah but yeah in the same way that a ritual usually doesn't involve just writing a thing down it's the did you collect all this did you collect all of yeah. this and it's literally a video game quest that the villains are doing right now mm-hmm. but yep. uh, yeah no Thank you so much for watching this episode's reaction and discussion. If you want to see the next episode's reaction and discussion right now, though, go check out the link in the description below. For our Patreon, you can get an early access there. You can watch full-length timer reactions there, and all this comes with Discord access, so you can chat with us in the community there about this show, about anime in general, and also be sure to check out our Twitch channel. We stream every weekday. The info's in the description. Yes, if any of that interests you, we'll see you there. But until then, we're Semblance of Sanity. I'm Caleb. I'm Jacob. And we'll see you all next time. time.